So with the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC plus the 2.0 update, we have seen 20 plus vehicles, new vehicles added to this game. Today guys we will cover them all. Some you have to purchase but unlock them first, others are tied to gigs and side missions where often the correct dialogue choices need to be made. Today guys, we get into it. How's it going people? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we will start with new cars added to the Auto Fixer website where you can purchase them directly. So, the Howbound. This is a vehicle which will cost you 150,000 eddies, but for some people this is locked. For me, I tested this, it unlocked via me starting and playing my first few missions within the Phantom Liberty DLC. The first computer I could get to to check, it was then unlocked. Upon me checking prior to starting the DLC, this is before you start the dog eat dog mission, the vehicle was locked. But again, me completing the first couple of missions, I checked the first computer I could and the vehicle the Howbound was there for me to buy for 150,000 eddies. So as you play the Phantom Liberty DLC, you will sometimes notice green steam wheels appear on your minimap. Now I can confirm, these and the first time you will see one can be random. I didn't actually start these until I fully completed the DLC story. So the rumours I have seen about these need to be done before the main story is finished are completely false. The thing people ain't realising is that green steering wheel can appear anywhere at random at any time. So if you are yet to do a single one, you haven't initiated the quest line for them yet. It starts with a side mission called Push It To The Limit. Again, the first one can appear anywhere I found it within Dogtown. When you see it, go to it, start it, and it will trigger this mission. Again, it's called Push It To The Limit. And no, I do not believe these green steam wheels are limited to Dogtown either, because I have had them outside of Dogtown within other parts of Night City. So the very first steering wheel mission you jump into it will trigger this mission. Again, it's called Push It To The Limits. So this mission consists of you talking to and setting up what comes after. You quickly learn that our Capitan basically wants you to take cars and deliver them for him. And when this mission ends guys, you will see more green steering wheels appear around the city. If you go to them and jump in them, you will trigger the same gig of just another story. It requires you again to just deliver these cars around certain parts of the map. So these green steering wheels can be found at random, again not exclusive to Dogtown. But it's where I did all mine, what I was doing was finding the green steering wheel, getting the vehicle, delivering it, failing the time challenge every single time, I'd then grab those rewards which do include a heavy discount which you can stack up and get certain cars for free, in fact any car for free. But yeah, I'd do these, I'd then fast travel back to Dogtown, skip time by 24 hours, drive around for about another minute and find another green steering wheel. Now these green steering wheels do normally appear in the same places, so you will get used to them. Now completing these green steering wheels unlocks more vehicles for you to purchase from the Auto Fixer website. So if you're doing five of these green steering wheels, you will unlock the first batch of cars you can buy. These are the Misutani, Hazuki Hazeki. We have the Makige Tanisha Kuma. The 410 Colby Barghurst. And the Villafort Dillian Vindicator. Mm -hmm. 
So completing further green steering wheels, eventually after doing around eight, you will unlock a side mission called Baby Let Me Talk To You. This is a mission for Al Capitan, uh, which is you're going to steal a Militech truck. Upon you completing this mission guys, you unlock the Outlaw Wheeler weaponized vehicle. And this car is absolutely amazing and no you will not have to purchase it, it is yours for the keeping as soon as this mission is done. Okay, so progressing on to completing a further 10 more, you unlock all other locked vehicles. These are the Archer Quartz Sidewinder, the Quadra Type 66 Wingate, the Misutani Shian Summon, the four turn Merrimack Warlock. The Fortune Colby Vulture. The Fortune Galena Locust. The Villafort Alvarado V4FH 570 Herman. And the Mejia Supron Trail Bruiser. We're having the best two vehicles unlocked at the 14th one you do and the 15th one you do. Doing the 14th green steering wheel will unlock you the Quadra Sport R7 Cherosakuro, I believe that's pronounced. I mean, my pronunciation's wrong anyway. I probably pronounced half of these vehicles wrong, but hey, who cares? And the 15th in total guys, when you do the 15th green steam wheel, you will unlock the Herrera Riptide Terrier, which is easily now my new favourite vehicle. Gives me those Lamborghini Countach vibes. Ok so now we move on to vehicle rewards uh, and we will start with Melina's mobile, a brand new motorbike to the Phantom Liberty DLC. Ok so this is an amazing bike which is rewarded to you upon you making the right choices within a side mission called Dazed and Confused. Now this side mission will pop up for you as you progress the game's main story and complete other side missions and side gigs for Mr. Hans. 
So do what you gotta do guys and progress. Now he will eventually send you a message, Mr. Hansa is about a brain dance celeb named Alina. Make sure you accept this offer. So this dazed and confused side mission starts right here on the map. So within this mission you meet Shank, who sends you out to get Lena to do a brain dance shoot. So eventually guys you go and wait for Melina. Now I ain't 100% sure here, but the choices I made may be needed, so pick the following choices as I did. So the first one you have, uh, your select, you found them like this. Then guys tell her that you are BD Scout. Then tell her she will be co-starring with Kerry Uridine. Now from this point guys you will end up back with Shank and Alina. Here you pretend to be the director. And well there are three choices you can make here. Now firstly I have done all three choices. The top two choices of tell him that he's your sister and convince him that he is a clone created by the FIA will see you being rewarded the baby boomer iconic baseball bat which when this side mission ends she sends you a message and tells you that she left it at the bar now the third choice of send tools a letter here your lines if you are a female V I believe this will allow you to grab her tank top which will be downstairs from this room now I'm a male V, I never got this tank top. I believe it could be something that may arrive later on or it is female Vs only. Again, I tried all three options. So my last option I chose and continued my playthrough with was the top option of tell him he's your sister. This I was rewarded that new baseball bat, uh, but I did go on to have a continued back and forth with Lena over the progress of my remaining playthrough of the Phantom Liberty DLC. This is a completely different conversation from the message she sends you about the reward she has left you. She contacted me again after this. Now the choices back and forth I made you can see on screen now. Again, I'm not sure if these make any difference, but make sure you pick the same ones I picked. Now eventually guys she will message you telling you that she's left you a present. Keep in mind this happened to me just before I was about to start the last mission within my playthrough here of picking sides with Songbird. At this point I completed all gigs, I completed most side missions, I believe there's a couple left over. But it was not long after I'd done and completed the mission, the side mission for Mr. Hans called Run This Town, which ties in with the main story. So yes guys, keep all this in mind. Again, this is an amazing superbike, one of my new favourite vehicles in this game and this is how I got it. Okay, so next up, and upon you completing Mr. Hans' 10 Dogtown gigs, you should eventually receive a call or message asking you to meet him within the Heavy Hearts Club. And no, this is not the Run This Town mission. This is separate to that. Upon you going there and clearing out his dialogue, he gives you the Quadra R7 Sport Stealing, which is one badass looking thing. Okay, so next up guys, and lastly for the Phantom Liberty DLC cars, we have the Spore R7 Sharon. So upon completing the main DLC's story, you will eventually get a message from someone called Ashley, who offers you a great opportunity. I really don't want to spoil anything here because it's a late game. What I will say is during this mission you will eventually get in a truck We have to basically hide from guards. Here I heard this mission can bug out uh, if certain things are done. People are saying to stay in a truck hidden until the guard says you are free to pass which is what I did without even knowing and it was fine for me. So keep this in mind when you are doing this guys. Supposedly the glitch stops traffic or something I ain't too sure. But yes, eventually guys, you'll come to the end of the mission and you'll get your reward. And this is that car that belongs to the twins, but you may not have seen them yet. Okay, so I will end the video with three other cars added with patch 2.0. 
This was the update that dropped to prepare players for the DLC. If you returned for the DLC launch, these three vehicles will also be new to you. Okay, so firstly guys, we have the new weaponized vehicle you can simply buy from any computer terminal which allows you to access the auto fixer website. I went to my mega building apartment, you guys can do the same. Buy any computer terminal which allows you to access the auto fixer website, click on said website and go to the archer category. It should be top of the list. Then guys, you want to purchase the new Quartz Spectre. And to be honest, although it's 70k plus eddies, this is my new favourite car. This thing has it all. Amazing handling, it's fast, has built-in weapons. I mean, I seriously love it. Okay, so next up guys, you have the Ken Block Tribute Car. The Quadra Type 66 Hoon. Now with this vehicle, for most players who have progressed the story a little, it's simply just a lying around waiting for you to go and find it. Now what I will say is, if you get here and a car isn't here for you, it is I believe tied to a mission that you need to progress past. And I believe you have to progress the mission of where you meet Takamura at the restaurant for the first time. The mission is called Playing for Time. So once you get this mission out of the way, probably skip time by 24 hours before heading out here to grab this car. So on screen now guys, you can see where this car is found. Once you get here, you will be met by Johnny. Okay, so once you land here guys, from here, search this pile of rubbish. Within here guys, you will find the keys to the car. Then, simply get in it and the car is yours Try for good. Okay, so the third and final car we have is the Demiurge Monster Truck. I've already made a guide on this video which I will let play out in a second, but I do need to add a few more further details on it before I do so. Now what you see in this video is the very first time I have interacted with said laptop and arcade game. I have never played this arcade game and I have never touched anything else in this computer room before what you see in this video. So that's all I believe needs to be done. I have seen people state that you don't even need to come to this room. You don't need to touch your laptop or the arcade game for this to work. For me, I tried sitting on that damn mattress for days straight and nothing triggered. It only worked after I've come to this computer room and logged into that laptop. So yes, what you guys are about to see is what triggered this secret cutscene for me. Now the time in which you can do this, I believe can be different, but I believe it needs to be done in the AM, not PM. Now if you guys are lost in what I'm saying and haven't got a clue what I'm talking about, check it out now and it should make sense to you. Okay, so first things first, you need to come to this point on the map right here. Now it is out in these sticks, you will have to drive a bit during a, um, a tr fast travel point anywhere near here. So yes, you will have to drive a bit. But once you get here, guys, you will notice there's this secret room which has got computers, it's got servers, it's got an arcade machine there with that Arasaka uh, 3D game on it. Ignore that for now. What you want to do, guys, is you want to skip time until you get to about, well, just before 4 a.m. 
it doesn't matter if it's 30 minutes game time before 4 a.m just make sure it's before 4 a.m now i'm not sure if this is needed i'm showcasing to you guys exactly how i did this i skipped to just before 4 a.m then what I did guys was I stood in front of this computer right here as you can see on screen now and I waited until the game time top right corner where you can see your in game time hit 4am now what I will say is and this is an absolute promise to you I have never interacted with this computer before I've never played the arcade game the Arasaka 3D uh, game before never ever that's a promise so this definitely works you don't have to do any of the hard stuff which by the way if you are interested in i'll link a video down below by little danny b he showcases the whole the whole puzzle it's long it's long winded it's not my kind of thing but you also get to see a great easter egg uh, cinematic as well you don't get to see that the golden cube easter egg via doing it this way what i'm showcasing to you guys today so if you want to see that as well check out his video i will link it down below but yes guys none of that is needed you can still get this vehicle and this is what you have to do so as soon as 4 a.m hits what you want to do is interact with the computer and log in just do what i do read all the messages for the first time as i do just do what just do that simple once you've done that guys then go to the arcade machine you don't have to play it nothing just interact with it as i did and then i left it i just exited the game Simple. From here guys, you need to come to this point on the map. Now this point and what you have to find here is pretty difficult. Uh, it took me about 20 minutes to find it, but I do know exactly where it is. Uh, but hey, come here come to this point on the map and what you want to do guys here is get here as fast as you can so don't do anything in between just come here as fast as you can if i were you i'd probably drive to your nearest fast travel point and then fast travel over here as i do on screen so yeah do that guys so once you land at this fast travel point which is the one i recommend you come in to drive to where i go to and exactly where i go to simple So once you get here guys get out of your car and follow the path i take on the screen now you're looking for a mattress now what i will say is guys if you're having trouble finding it like this i did record a video earlier which is a bit more lighter you can see it a little bit better i'll play that on screen now this is exactly where this mattress is pinpointed so watch that guys and i'll catch you back in a quick second Okay, so back to the original video. So yes, I'm coming here guys. It's still before 5 a.m., which is perfecto. So what you wanna do guys is you wanna stand on this mattress. Just stand on it and be AFK. I think it takes around 55 minutes in game time. 
so yes, you have to stand here AFK in game time. If I were you, I'd just watch that uh, time in your top right hand corner. I wouldn't go into your menu or anything like that. Just stand here and watch that time. I mean, I think it's like, like I said, 55 minutes could be an hour, but you have to stand here for that time AFK. It's game time, by the way. So that's it's probably about five, ten minutes, if that, uh, in real life time. So you should be good. Now, what should happen, guys, is you should get like your choking, your your malfunctioning, and you'll just black it out. Now, the method I linked in the video description, where it goes through the entire thing of entering all kinds of different puzzles and numbers and stuff. At this point, you will get like a golden cube cinematic. But doing it the way I'm showcasing to you today, you do not see that. All you see is a mysterious person who we do not know the identification of. Eventually, guys, you will wake up and right in front of you will be this Demiurge monster truck. Get in it, guys, and it is yours for good. Drive it around Night City. Drive it around the desert as I was doing, having tons of fun. But yes, guys, this is now yours and there we have it guys all new vehicles for phantom liberty and 2.0 guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one